G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. If fly fishing is something you want to get into, you want to do a course with us. We'll take you up to the new G and we'll teach you how to catch trout. $99, get in touch with us and we'll teach you how to be a superstar fly fisher. Yep. G'day, I'm Gavin Hurley from Pro Angler and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're lucky enough to spend uh, a day with Daryl Pascal, who's one of the local guides in the area and does a lot of guiding for us on our Pro Angler trips as well. And we're down here on uh, the Matara on probably one of the least fished areas of the, of the whole river system. Yep, this is right at the uh, bottom of the station and um, it's at the furthest waypoint and uh, we're pretty fortunate that if you're a guest staying at the lodge you get to drive down here and have a nice day's fishing with me and hopefully Perfect. we catch a few fish, so yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately a little bit of wind today Gav, but... That's alright, if, if you and me learn how to cast properly we should be able to tackle that, so, so we'll see how we go. Yeah. But we're about one o'clock, I mean it is very late in the season and we've had some really good hatches, uh, generally starting about like two till, till four, yeah. so... Bit of a, a bit of an unknown with the Matara yeah. up until the last few years that uh, People have really sort of uh, missed this time of the year, yep. and uh, we tend to get the best mayfly hatches now, probably from uh, probably from the end of March right through to the end of April, and um, we get us some really great mayfly hatches right through from about sort of one half past one right through to about four o'clock in uh, in the afternoon, and um, it's a lot of fun, a lot Good. of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, talk's cheap, mate. We better go out and find some fish. Yeah, right, yeah. We'll show some there. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Hopefully on some dries. If not. We'll pluck out some nymphs, we'll do something. Dale's a champ anyway, we'll find him, I'm sure. <laughs> so with all the spotting, what Daryl's doing now, he'll be walking up here looking for uh, shapes that obviously elongated, like a trout, hopefully a different colour, might be black or brown or uh, just even just a, a different sort of a, a blemish that looks uh, unnaturally there and uh, could could quite often be a rock which has happened so often but a lot of the time as well and Daryl's got excellent eyes because he funny enough does it for a living it will be a fish so he's just using that backdrop there because there's not no sun at the moment and a bit of rip on the water use that backdrop to be able to see in and hopefully spot a fish Not long after the guys had started their walk upstream, the reliably unreliable New Zealand weather changed for the worse. And as Daryl headed back to the car to grab his rain jacket, Gav hooked into the first fish of the day. So uh, there you go, a little bit of rain, a little bit damp over here, which makes it pretty hard to film. But uh, now we'll run back to the car to get his raincoat. Fantastic, fantastic. Tower of the ground. Up the next, a bit of a run from the money down there as well. The rain doesn't look like he's enough. As you can see, the rain sort of slowed up a bit, but the cloud cover's still there, which is great for, for a really good dun hatch. It keeps the duns on the water for longer. And, you know, I can probably see about 25 fish rising all at once now. So uh, I'm going to put this fly in front of them after they're going to take it. Just been walking up here, there's fish all over the place and uh, we've had a couple of refusals where they'll come right up and then just turn away. Daryl's just said he, he thinks they're just on emerges which is something just under under the surface. 
but this one he liked the uh, the Adams parachute so uh, it's good it's good when a plan comes together even a little bit of rain fish are already wet doesn't really matter when you get him on the dry he's perfect Good. It's only a couple of pound, which we get blase over here. In Australia, we'd uh, be on the front page of the Herald Sun, but over here, it's, uh, it's a lovely fish, but there's bigger ones. The amount, lovely fish. It's probably three pound. He's just bad as anything. Great fish on the Matara. Put him back in. Perfect, it's good to go again. So uh, Daryl assures me some bigger ones up here, so we're just going to find them now. That was a bit of a lucky one. It normally takes a few more casts to get them than that, and he's actually just showing off now anyway. So. It's only a little one, mate. Only a tiddler. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, well, I was just going to say, lucky cast first off, wasn't it? Beautiful, mate. Excellent. Well done. Good, Good job. Just two casts? Three. Three, three <laughs> casts. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, you hold, hold that. I'll take the fly out of it. Beauty. And that was just on your, your atoms, or did you? Uh, we size 18 parachute atoms. Yep. Sort of doubles as a as a, um, a done and an emerger, so sure. it works pretty good. As long as you don't want to get them too big, you know? The, the, the fly itself? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep. yep. Just a nice little fish. Yeah. Two, two you see the down. colours in that? I mean, that, that's, yeah. yeah. It just stunning. Nice. Just for a good little Matara brown. Away he goes. Perfect. Do that again. So I'll do it again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, How hard could it be? So it's an 18. Yeah, that's a wee one. Yeah. So I've had a couple of refusals, and uh, first time ever, somebody said it was too big. So. I've put on a size 18, which hopefully they'll uh, they'll take. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. I think a lot of the secret to to catching these matara fish is having the ability to put the fly right in front of the fish too. Yeah. If you put it up too far in front, especially in the slower water, um, we've got a lot of time to think about it, you know. Sure. Put it a foot in front of them, you get an instinctive reaction from them. And yeah. Try to get them coming up straight away. Yeah.